you know, I warned you guys a long time ago that once Oprah said something about black men in the community, white women feel comfortable going, going behind her and saying things. Now, I know y'all going to say, well, they can say it any time. Yeah, they could, but they want to be able to say things with impunity where they won't have to, won't have to apologize or feel like they got to backtrack. Because you have to understand, and I keep telling y'all how this works. When Oprah give a criticism of the black community, other black women follow. Once other black women follow, you know white women are going to chime in. When the thing with Rihanna and Chris Brown went down, both, and I kept saying both, because I started doing uh, my commentaries a year after the incident, but in my personal life, I was always talking about it. And I told everybody, I said, they're young, they both are stupid. I said, Rihanna started. I said, I guarantee you, and, I, and those of us in our community, you had women that, yep, yeah, Rihanna probably started more than likely, and she kept hitting Chris and probably him in the groin. He probably he, he punched her a few times. But then I said, you have to remember those cops, those two Puerto Rican cops, because TMZ made sure they mentioned the ethnicity, went and released uh, the mug shot. And back then, that's when we should have called out TMZ releasing information on black people or hounding black people. But when, but when Chris and Rihanna was getting, got, like they was getting back together, white women went not sense. And I'm like, why are y'all mad? Nobody, when y'all men and women get, to beat each other, to still do everything to each other, we don't get in y'all business. But when Oprah was doing her show, and she did shows on, on Friday, she did live, she had Kelly Ripper, her husband, Mark Consuelos, she had George Stephanopoulos' wife, Ali, uh, uh, what was the Ali Lambert, what was her name? Whatever name, she's been on Living Color. She was on Living Color the last two or three years of the show. Uh, Wentworth, Ali Wentworth, I'm sorry. And she had somebody else on there. And Oprah did it, did, and everybody was talking about Oprah, and I mean, or, or Chris Brown. Now, remember, Chris Brown had went on Larry King, and people roasted him on Larry King, oh, why he's dressed that way, what he's on TV. And I told everybody, I said, Chris Brown is falling on the soil for Rihanna. I said, he's 19 years old. This is, this is the first time he's been in trouble. Let them work it out. If they can't be together, let them let them find out what's, what's going to work for them. Because right now, you don't need anybody pressuring them. And people in our community, they got it. At least the people around me got it. And even Hot Black College, because I remember that weekend, you know, that Monday, they was going to interview black folks they never, never normally interview. You know, they put the camera in front of Lisa Ray and a few others. I think Jasmine Guy as well. And a lot of them, a lot of the black women, and they went to black women mostly. They said Chris and Rihanna work out the young. It's sad. <coughs> Excuse me. It's sad, but let them work it out. Because we know better. But by the end of the week, Oprah got involved in it, and it turned into something totally different. Oprah looked at the camera. Rihanna, he either did it once, he'll do it again. He's an abuser. And I'm sitting there, why am I, one incident that makes you an abuser? Damn. So all the stuff that Oprah said, we, black folks should have disinvested her years ago, back in the 80s, when the show became from AM Chicago to the Oprah Winfrey show. Because she did a series of, of shows where she made black men look like idiots. Oprah had more racist whites on her show than black men during that time. Because around that time, Geraldo Rivera had got to fight and talk shows afraid that black men, not the guys who will, will train terrorists or domestic terrorists, you had them on the show, but you notice it was no black men. Those of us who are old enough to remember that time, you saw on Jerry Springer, Jenny Joe, they had white races on there, but very rarely had black men, if any. They used to put a sister on the show, and at the end of the show, you got somebody, we should all just get along. They didn't have black men on the show. For a long time, it wasn't a, a bunch of brothers on the show, unless they was gay, unless they were Seth Haley. Those are the black men they trotted out. Then, when the rap became mega, mega big, the gangster rap. That's when Oprah started talking about rappers. And see, a lot of people need to understand this history. This is why I say those of us who are older, who remember those times, even if you got bits and pieces wrong, you still supposed to say, okay, I remember watching this. Okay, we bring it up, and then people got to do their research. This is why I tell people, if you don't believe me, go do your research. But everything I told y'all about Oprah and Gail has been on point. They've showed they natural ass. And a lot of y'all so so invested in Oprah's success because she's rich. 
Oprah is where she at because black folks watched her on a local television show. If black Chicago did not watch her in Chicago, Oprah would never been Oprah. Let's keep it real. But Oprah has contributed to the gentrification of, of Chicago's West Side. Oprah sat back and dis, dis, talked about black children on Access Hollywood. Oprah has sat on and did shows giving cover to white drug addicts. Oprah has sat and done shows making like black men on the deck. You remember everything turned around? Somebody's talking down low. Who would they say? Well, Oprah did a show about down low. Then everybody, because nobody was doing that. Jerry Spring was doing his own type of stuff. And Oprah had bad mouth Jerry Spring because he was kicking the ass in the ratings. See, a lot of people forget what Oprah has done. And Gail was right there along with him. Now, maybe she didn't come out at first like Oprah did. But eventually, by the time Oprah's show had morphed into something else, her whole attitude became more apparent and more realized. Then she started writing articles and going out and doing interviews and saying things about black men. But yet, but see, in our community, we was afraid to like we was attacking Oprah. But black men is fair game. There are quite a few sisters that have been on television in daytime and prime time who have said things, especially during daytime. And a lot of y'all missed it. Since I've been retired, I, I done picked up on a lot of stuff during the daytime. And I'm like, hmm, huh, huh, okay. Maybe I misinterpreted. Let me go back and watch it again. Or let me, oh wait, let me see if this person going to say this again. And they go, uh-huh, okay. Remember, Oprah had Coach Vivian Stringer and her basketball team on to forgive Don Imus. Now here it is. Don Imus talked about Oprah. Called all kinds of names. His team talked about like a dog. Oprah says nothing when white America attack or criticize her or condescend to her. But if anybody in black America criticize her, I donated to the, this historic black college. How long are you going to hold it over here? You ain't gave the money that Bill Cosby or Michael Jackson or Prince gave or Tom Joyner. So don't, don't sit there and ride that. And then y'all, I said when she do, she pick a handful of people. Oprah, Oprah has, has gotten, given, gotten cover from gay black men, black women, and whites who want to be around her because she, she enriched their pockets or she catered to their sensibility. I told y'all when Oprah started dropping black men names out there, their careers are dead. Oprah is giving rise to Wendy Williams. Because Wendy Williams is nothing but a, 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 a tacky version of what Oprah is. I mean, both are tacky, but Oprah tried to at least don't go out there and play into the stereotype. Wendy Williams, how you doing? The, the, the Wendy's out there. People say, which one would you rather see? Neither. But Wendy's the more uncouth version of Oprah. Robin Roberts, she goes out there. Robin Givens, still out there talking about Mike Tyson after they've been divorced over 30, what, 32 years now. Nobody talks about Robin, uh, I'm not Robin Givens sleeping with uh, um, Brad Pitt while they was married to Mike Tyson. Y'all remember Robin Givens did with uh, Barbara Walters? Black men have been emasculated for years. Uh, Tyra Banks. Jackie Reed. All these black women have sat out here and bad mouth brothers. Matter of fact, old boy, was, what's that, Whitmore? The one that had the show on Coming Central that was supposed to be uh, replaced... Uh, Colbert, the first episode he had on was a panel of black women, Jackie Reed, who had been on TV for the last, what, uh, the six or seven years, bad mouth of black men. We can't find the good black men. Black men don't sit around and do panels like that. We do. It's not damn sure they're on TV. If it is on TV, it's on a station nobody watch. Here it is, Oprah Winfrey and was out there praising Meghan Markle. She got with Harry, uh, 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 Prince Harry. You'll never hear them celebrate black love like that. But yet, y'all attack us when a black man say, yo, we're we going to broaden our horizons. It's not because we want to, because some of our women don't want us. Some of our women attack us. And y'all follow Oprah Lee. But Oprah gives a, a cover to people to go out there and constantly attack the black community, black men in particular. 
Look how she, Michael Jackson, just like gave, like R. Kelly gave Oprah and, and, uh, and, and uh, like like R. Kelly gave Gail an interview, and they stabbed him in the back. Michael Jackson opened his house to Oprah, and she asked intrusive questions. She asked a grown ass man, "If you uh, if, if you're a virgin." Oprah's only six years older than Michael Jackson. Remember, folks, Michael Jackson would have been sixty years old last year. No, yeah, no, sixty one. What I'm talking about? He is fifty years old. He died. He yet didn't have his birthday yet. Michael Jackson would have been 61 years old. Think about that. Michael was born in 1958. He would have been 61 last year. This year he'd been 62 years old. So that means Michael Jackson is a baby boom. She asked a grown ass man on national television, Are you a virgin? Why are y'all so obsessed with our sex life? This is a black woman asking this. It wasn't a white one. I mean, they asked it, but this is a black woman who did that. 1993 or 90, no, it was 1992 or 93 around that time when Oprah did that interview. Maybe 94. I want y'all to understand this. Oprah has been doing this stuff for over 30 something years. And there's been a, a group of black men out here been yelling. And y'all said, y'all just jealous. Y'all don't want to see a black woman strong and independent. That's not it. We got to understand, it's a reason why our communities look the way they do with some of our communities. Because every black community is not down and out. There's a reason why particular areas of, of black neighborhoods look the way they do. Because black women don't listen. Now, for those sisters that had listened to me saying that, I'm not talking about you if you're not, that's not you. But you shouldn't be so damn quick to run and I always excuse them. Because we, I don't excuse black men who screw up, young or old. Now, the last uh, few years, especially, I'm starting to see more commentary from black women. And I've been begging for that for years. Like, y'all have to be the voices to call out these sisters that do questionable things. Because when a black man say something, y'all think it's always a damn attack on y'all. That's not it. No other community let their women run roughshod over their men. And the thing is, y'all make it like black men out here dogging black women out. We don't have arranged marriages. We don't, make, we don't beat the crap out of it. We don't make y'all words cover y'all bodies up, which some of y'all should. And I ain't talking about cover up like in a, 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 a dress or a shawl or something. I'm talking about be, be a little bit more, more uh, discerning about what you wear. Everybody don't want to see your goodies. Because some of y'all go out there and you push yourself out, excuse me, out there. And then when dudes bite, y'all want to like, you don't respect me. Can't respect you when your pants are three sizes too small. Can't respect you when you got your breasts out there like that. Can't, bre can't respect you when every picture you got on social media with your lips poked out like you're about to suck a dick. So, 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 so please. And I know the, the, the talking point is, I should be able to do whatever I want, and you should be, yeah, that's true. You should be able to do whatever you want, but there's going to be consequences behind it. People are going to judge you. I remember doing commentaries out here. Call out open. I had sisters, some of these sisters out here that y'all see on their regular channels was coming at me, taking my words out of context. I'm like, yo, I'm defending y'all. I'm just saying there's a group of women in the community that make y'all look bad. Y'all need to call them out. I said, y'all should not be paying attention to Oprah. Oprah's treacherous. You just jealous because she's a strong black woman. No, I'm not jealous of her. Oprah money is Oprah money. She earned it, she could earn it whatever how she earned it. And a lot of us theorized it was on her knees and her back to the way she act. Y'all sat back here and let Oprah manipulate y'all. And then white women have joined in and said, we got to insulate Oprah because Oprah made us a lot of money. And they talk about Oprah at the same time. Rachel Ray was made, made, made rich because of Oprah. She got caught talking about Oprah. Susie Armand, all these other women. And then you had Dr. Phil and them. You mean to tell me there's no black professionals that Oprah could have got behind? But black folk made Oprah well off. Y'all, we come out first line of defense. Oprah has nothing to do with black America. That all black girl schools here in the United States, Oprah could have helped, could have mentored. She went all the way across the globe to Africa. And the only reason why she do it is because white folk do that. Because in America, they have nothing to do with black America. Y'all claim that y'all care about black folk, but y'all go to Africa. But here, y'all treat us like crap. 
Oprah lived in Chicago 37 years and never endorsed any black candidate. Hell, she didn't even get she didn't even get behind the late Mayor Washington when he was alive. But you get a brother from the South Side that people could name couldn't pronounce. Because I was one of those people years ago that couldn't pronounce Barack Obama's name. But the reason why Oprah got with him because of his background. Oh, he's his father's from from Kenya, so he's African. He's half African. His mother's from America. She's white, so he's he's African American. Oh my gosh, he's mixed ethnicity. Oh, I love those. She threw Reverend Wright under the bus. I told y'all then, and did the people the, coming out calling out um uh stupid and, and, and those of us who've been critical of Oprah and Gail, those are the same Negroes that threw Reverend Wright under the bus. So it's like it's clockwork, and I told y'all this. I said it keeps going back in the circle. But y'all don't want to hear people like me. Like y'all think well, what you got? Look, I may not be rich, I may not be famous, but I use common sense. And I, I've been advocating people out here since I've been I said, y'all please listen. Step back and observe. Don't respond on everything. People want to play on black people emotions. <laughs> Remember when Bill Maher said, I thought oh, we got a black president. We was going to get a black president. You know, Barack. Ah. They thought Obama was going to come in. Yo, 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 mother. He, that's not, no. A lot of us, uh, uh, Lovey uh, Smith, who used to be the coach of the Bears. Uh, Tony Dunge used to be the coach of Indiana. They, when they sued Bo, they said these two got laid back personalities. And then you had the, uh, the coach, uh, Dusty Baker, and then uh, the one that died, he was a co former Cubs manager. He died about two, three years ago. I can't think of his name. Somebody help me on that one. All these brothers are low-key. He couldn't, they couldn't do a Mike Dick or Bobby, uh, Bobby Knight. You can't do no, uh, what's this, what's that actor, the, uh, the, uh, not the, the British dude, the English dude, the, uh, uh, Colin Will Ferrell. Used to run around, curse and smoke and do it. No brother can't act like that. Y'all know we can't do that. Why do you think Denzel Washington walks a tight rope? Because he know at any moment they can cut his throat. Look how every year they did a, every year like clockwork, it was a story about Spike Lee. So they said, get a little bow leg nigga a war with him. Shut up. Spike Lee been silent. <coughs> Oprah went out there and partnered with Tyler Perry when black men was telling black women, like, yo, y'all know what kind of movies he's doing? He's, and y'all don't realize that one day y'all gonna wake up and realize y'all was being insulted too. Now you got black women criticizing Tyler Perry. Y'all about a decade late. When he was, and Oprah had him around. Oprah celebrate gay black men. That's her agenda. Oprah never gets behind any any straight black man. If she do, they they married outside the community or they or they incapacitate in old age. Oprah don't hold Harry Belafonte up. Yeah, even though he's married out, out outside the community, Harry Belafonte has been consistent in talking about white supremacy. Oprah don't hold him up. Oprah hold everybody up. She hold Maya Angelou, who was married to a white man, I believe twice. All these white women that Oprah holds up, like, like, like Tina Turner. That she bad mouth Ike Turner. And then when you get in front of one interview, she said, I had nothing to do with the man. I had nothing to do with the man. But thanks to Unsung, it proved what I was saying when I was in high school. Because I remember black, remember when, when Waiting in Hell, all those movies come out? Those are hit pieces in the 90s on black men. And brothers sitting like, damn, y'all, y'all lumping us in the group. Y'all chasing the thugs and the wannabes. Y'all chasing the down low dudes. And y'all listen to Oprah Winfrey and them. Oprah's been a big part of this shit for th over 30 some years. But Oprah and got every See, y'all figure, you know, Oprah's not Oprah. Oprah cool. She down. No, she ain't. When that thing happened to Flint with the water, this woman had enough money to put her thumb on the scale or said, I'm going to come in and you get, a, get some water. You get some water. She had nothing to say. Will Smith, weird ass son, Jaden has done more than Oprah. Oprah has nothing to do with Black America until it it, it suits her. Until it's, until she need somebody to bail her ass out. White folk were doing a they was dancing a jig when when auction was fell when it first came out. Oprah had geared her shows to everybody else but the black community. So she said, hmm, black men already know what I'm on. 
So let me go get some gay black men. Who is she gonna get? Tyler Perry. And y'all can sit there all your day and say, "Well, Tyler Perry got kids. He supposed to have got a girlfriend." Tyler Perry is is is, is, is feminist. I don't know what. Why do you think uh, uh, Aaron Magruder over the Boondocks did that episode? Lee Daniels, Lee Daniels, another one. Oprah partners up with gay black men and white women and black women who have too, too, been too traumatized or got the blinders on. Here it is. You had an uh, old girl from over at the rib say that black men don't stand up for black women. The media didn't come out and crucify her. Black people came out and had to call it out. But then a week later, guess what? A, 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 a week or so later, Terry Crews went out and did what Terry Crews does best. We told you he's a coon. Y'all defended him. Uh, y'all just getting too hard with Terry. Like, y'all don't, Terry is, is, is a coon. Then the moment he didn't jump, when y'all thought he was going to jump, now y'all attacked him. Notice a pattern in here? Then did the thing with Oprah. She's not doing well. Not willing. Oh, she's getting death threats. And everybody believed. As Oprah said, two weeks in a row, black women have let the media manipulate them into talking points. Not all. And some black men. I, I can't forget the brothers out, but it was out there. Yeah, Terry, man, you betrayed Gabrielle Union. But Gabrielle Union sent them set up and threw Nate under the bus. Right along with Gail King, Oprah Winfrey, Robin Roberts, Wendy Williams, Tyra Banks, Y'all let Oprah and them lead them in the media lead y'all to conversations that y'all are not ready for or y'all seem to be afraid to. For ten years I've been I've been calling these people out. Damn, Harvey a prophet. I like no. I just sit back and listen to what they're saying. And some of y'all are mad at me because I've been on point. And I'm like, you can be on point too, if you just step back and observe. And thank God there are black women out here on social media, out here on YouTube, who are doing commentaries and calling out and not uh, straddling the fence. I hate fence straddlers. Oprah could have easily put a thing out there and said, I know Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby never did these things. Oprah didn't say Jack, but she defended Harvey Weinstein. Whoopi Goldberg defended, defended Mel Gibson and Robert Polanski. Nobody made a big brouhaha about that, but the moment she defended Cosby, everybody went, went in on her. Jill Scott came out defending Cosby. Everybody, some people went in on Jill Scott, and Jill Scott, like she had an album coming out. Yeah, Bill Cosby answered. Then somebody in the community said, yo, Jill, you're full of shit. You know the history of our brothers and sisters, how we've been vilified, especially black men. And then when her CDs didn't, didn't chart, she ran back. Yeah, we got to stand with Bill Cosby. Oprah is a journalist. Oprah's not a, a media mogul. She's a media mogul now, but her profession was a journalist. Just like Gail, journalist. I told y'all, when I was in high school, we, I, I had wrote to her studio and come to find some other YouTubers that live in the Chicago area did the same thing. And we all got the same freaking response. But what was the, what was the common connection? We were black. Black men and black women. Because I, 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 I said, I couldn't have been the only one. Maybe I was the only one that thought about it. But it didn't come to find out. And I don't know if those people still watching my channel. Come to my, I know it was one. It was a sister. I can't remember her name. I wish I could remember her name. She said she did the same thing. Dr. Boyce Watkins, I had an image of Oprah's staff. I can't. It's, I, I got to go through and try to find it. Maybe some of y'all can find a link. Dr. Boyce Watkins put up a picture of Oprah Winfrey's staff. And it's predominantly white. And I told y'all, the only black person, male, that she had on her staff was her hairdresser. Cause Oprah did a couple of shows over the years talking behind the scenes. That's why Oprah's shows was mostly geared to white women. Oprah had her studios on the heart of Chicago's west side. She, read right along with Michael Jordan, directly and indirectly, helped gen gentrify that area. When Oprah show out there, who who she have to get a talk show to? Rosie O'Donnell, not any young black woman. Ro Oprah could have went to Tyra Banks, I mean not Tyra Banks, uh, Tamron Hall, and say, Tamron, you used to live in Chicago, remember? We went to the same church. 
I wouldn't put a talk show sitting around you. It would have done gangbusters. No, she go get Rosie or Dunn. See, a lot of y'all for, y'all forget that stuff. And then when we call y'all, say y'all hating, y'all attacking. Oprah knows exactly what, what to do. She's been in television long enough and around people long enough to get her talking points over in order. When 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 the when people on the right was coming after Oprah, Oprah bent over back with Sarah Payne, like, why you let Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton on your show? Why you just it? Why can I be on your show? What did Oprah do? Let Sarah Payne come on the show. Remember? Remember when, when everybody started criticizing Oprah, she started to step back from the Obamas for a little bit, remember? Because it was hurting her brand. Right now, if Oprah say something in, 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 inappropriate, white America left or right going to throw her ass to, under the bus. And what she going to do the, to my black community? Remember she did the bugger all of a sudden she became black. I said, don't y'all buy it. Then somebody asked him, what was her racial experience? Well, I was in Switzerland. Okay, well, right there, they should have told you something right there. Ooh, Switzerland. Now here in the United States, you mean tell me you being a baby boomer. Born in the 50s, a child of the 60s, a young adult of the 70s. You mean to tell me you had no racial experience growing up in the South? But your racial experience, but I went to Switzerland to see Tina Turner. I went to see a person, a woman wouldn't let me see it. And Oprah act like, you know who I am, Oprah Winfrey. No, you big over here, over there, you just another nigga to them. The only black, two black, three black people that is known globally, Michael Jordan, Prince, and Michael Jackson, two of them cats are dead. That crap that you pull over here don't work over there. When you went to Africa, they, oh, they said they didn't even know who Oprah was until they said this rich black American woman is building a school for your guns to go to. Y'all mistake her taking photos with, with Nelson Mandela as she was down. You can, go, you can go take pictures of Nelson Mandela, who was a freedom fighter and stuff back going against apartheid, but here in the United States, you won't stand next to the black men and women or black men here in the United States that have called out white supremacy. Hmm, wonder why. Those of you out here who have seen Oprah do what she did, I told y'all last year, like, oh my God, you see what Oprah did? Like, duh. Monique tried to warn y'all, y'all attacked Monique like a dog. Then went after her husband. Do you have gay black men insinuate? We know how Oprah, how Oprah uh, Monique husband get down, you know. <laughs> he, that dude Flame wrote, even though I agree with some of the stuff he said about transsexuals, he even did this, went out there and tried to do Monique wrong. And I'm like, hmm. <clears throat> what's the common connection here? Monique had the audacity to call out Oprah and her, her, her sidekicks that she used for now. Why folk had gotten on Oprah's show and lied? And Oprah claimed like she was angry, but Oprah never attacked them the way she's attacked black men. Black men have been blamed for every evil on the planet. Y'all trying to make us out to be the biggest sexist, the biggest misogynist. And you sitting there, and, 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 and the sexism is misogynist. And people say they're basically the same thing. But the thing is, you take a few men who've been miseducated or been used to go out here and, and, and say, this is a representation of black men. I got my issues with some of our sisters, but I would never, ever indict the entire population of black females. Even those who just backstabbed me, have broken my heart, betrayed my trust, I would never do that. Not one time on my channel have I elevated any other female or group of women over our women. We have a shared history. Unfortunately, our women... Throughout history, not all, but enough, have never stood with us the way we should be supposed to stand with us. And we point that out. Y'all think there's an indictment on all black women. As I said, these conversations are nuanced. But when you got tunnel vision or you or you got your ears covered, you ain't hearing enough. You're not ingesting any new information. When Lonnie Love said that about slavery, I'm like, where did she get that from? There's always been black couples, black families. 
on both sides of my family. My grandparents was married and their parents before them. I want people to understand something. We as black Americans have a unique history. But the thing is, we have to be honest that our women have been compromised. And when they stop putting black women in charge or make her the boss of something that's done for a purpose. When the women's movement got, got, got going and white men said, hmm, you know what? Put the black female, give her the job. Give her that job. Put her in charge. And you see what see what happens. She's going to emulate white women, but they're going to check like, oh, you can't step up. You can't go past Becky now. It's a, it's a, it's a hierarchy here. And y'all don't want to admit that y'all ran with a bunch of women. Y'all want to tell black men, you ain't got women. But y'all give them, have babies with them as well. Y'all stand in march with them. Black men and white men ain't standing locked arm in arm. You might have a few white men and white women that, that are down and want to combat racism with us. But those are small percentages. Because when, when Trayvon Martin was getting shot dead, they was making jokes about it. When they kids are getting shot dead, y'all was crying about it. Oprah was on TV. <laughs> You'd have Barack Obama. I'm like, but well, I people die. Y'all think we deserve it. This has come from other black folk. Umar Johnson. I defended Umar Johnson for a long time. I said, but he got to stop pandering. When he went on Rolling Show, what did Rolling do to him and that panel do? They had tapped him. Right then and there, a lot of black folks started to say, yo, Harvey, you, y'all, and the others was right about rolling it up. It seemed like these Negroes that go to college or got a little money, they want to, th- and yet, and they play us against each other. Y'all got to understand that when people do these things to us, it's a motive behind it. Yes, there's a lot of it is self-hatred. A lot of it is just opportun- uh, opportunistic mindset. Oprah has a hatred for black males, young and old. Gail King is still bitter from her husband, supposedly cheating, if that's the truth. We don't know if her, if her husband said, I'm tired of you and Oprah being around. I can't pull what Stedman do. I can't pretend like, like y'all ain't messing around. People gonna say, well, they just friends. Look, let me tell y'all something. I have acquaintances. Most men have acquaintances. You might say, I got a buddy, but we ain't, we ain't on the phone like, what you doing? Uh, I'm just over here just brushing my hair. You know, I got to go do some of my beard. Uh, yeah, I got to fix my car. We don't do that. I have brothers that I don't hang around with like that. We as black people have to stop allowing people to manipulate us. But y'all have given Oprah and Gail and women that follow them a wide berth. And I think some of the sisters started to wake up and say, yo, maybe our brother's been right about Oprah and Gail all along. See, when y'all saw what Oprah was doing, doing the Bill Cosby thing, some of y'all was cautious, y'all was afraid. But that Michael Jackson thing, that's when y'all started to say, wait a minute, hold on. And you know, the R. Kelly thing. Y'all, y'all was afraid to say something. Y'all was afraid that people was going to judge y'all. Now, the first thing when R. Kelly interviewed y'all, they were, what do black women think? You know why, you know, you know why they did that? Because they're afraid if they lose y'all, that means the power that they have over our community, over uh, other black women and young, tr- impressionable black men will be over with. That's why Oprah the other day on, on the Today Show threw Bill Cosby's name out of there. Out of all the people, she threw Bill Cosby's name out there. Then she used to work misogyny. Those are cold words. When you mention Bill Cosby, ooh, Bill, ooh, Bill Cosby, all he has to do this to these women. And he didn't. If anybody go back and look at those, those, those women when they did the interviews and go back and look at the transcript of that trial, and there were people out here who done, do commentary or do, uh, videos like Nicole, Nicole's view. She and some other sisters was there. There are even white people have came out and said, yo, Cosby got played. Joy Behar even was on TV said, huh, I didn't think they were going to send him to jail on no, with no evidence based on hearsay. Oprah could have went out there, Oprah for years could have went out there and called out white feminism. She didn't. She encouraged it. She embraced it. 
when when Kobe wasn't even dead 30 minutes to an hour, white women was online. I knew it. I said, as soon as he died, they're going to bring up his, his past. Eddie Griffin said it. Vlad got mad. You know Eddie Griffin said this. And black folk like did it like, yeah, yeah, no, that's not true. Y'all gave an opening to a lot of this racism, a lot of these attacks. Me too, before it was called, and, and years ago it was found in my Toronto Burke, but it never caught on. That should tell you something right there. Black women have gotten raped just like white women, other women, but it didn't catch on years ago. Wonder why. But when they needed to make us the villain of the story, they needed allies. Cause white, some white women said, y'all going too far. Y'all, you better do, you change the subject. Then when, when Lisa Milano tried to be sticking and said, me too, it caught on. Somebody said, no, you didn't create it. Once again, they was caught, got caught stealing. So she had to do damage control. Then her and Rose McGowan went out there. Well, yeah, in the black community, black men, wait a minute, hold on. Remember I did that video telling y'all Rose McGowan talking about black men? She got comfortable because black women like to, to, uh, Toronto Burke and they and they lead a, a fierce leader, Oprah Winfrey, have opened the floodgates. Now people say, but well, they've been doing this historically, but the modern day white woman normally wouldn't be that bold. She would do her shit on a slot. She was said on a slot. Or she was said in a way that you'd be like, huh? She did what? She said what? Now she just come out and say it. Ashley Judd for years, for 20 some years, had been writing articles and talking about rap. She never talked about them rock, rock stars. Never talk about how they treat women. Don't talk about them. But you want to blame, put it on rap. That's why when Don Imus was able to say, well, I heard Nappy had holes on the rap song. What rap song? A man his, of his age listening to rap, okay. Then they switched to the conversation. Nelly and them was on TV. I'm like, man, I, ain't, I don't like modern day rap. Because a lot of it's cool and buffoon and playing to sexual stereotypes. But y'all can blame this on the brothers? I'm like, y'all stretching a little bit. See, I'm, at least I'm critical, but I'm fair when I'm critical. Oprah has had a part in a lot of this stuff. And a lot of y'all don't want to see it. Because y'all afraid. Y'all think y'all betraying her. But she ain't never been down with the community. Her friend Gail, they, 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 they run in circles that you and I don't run in. You know, Oprah is not friendly with any straight black man. That should tell you something. All the women that Oprah has prided around that have been black have been compromised. Remember, Oprah was the one talking about loving versus Virginia on multiple occasions. You know, the loving versus Virginia, huh? Remember, that was a black woman with a white man. And you notice the, the, the children of them saying, well, my mother wasn't really black. She was really Indian. Whoa, 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 whoa. When, that, when she did that story about the sister that they was uh, using her DNA and all that stuff um, the, 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 for uh, different uh, ca techniques, cancer and all that stuff, and her family was critical of Oprah and what the government did, Oprah said, oh, this mother, they need to be quiet. They just, they don't know what they're talking about. She was on CBS that morning with Gail King talking about that family. All you got to do is type in Oprah and Gail on CBS this morning and watch everything that pops up. Oprah has been doing this stuff for a long period of time. And these other black women who want, who want, who, who've been praising Oprah, we're not going to let you come from Gail and Oprah. Susan Rice, what she did yesterday was a threat. She threatened Snoop Dogg. Even white folk like, damn. And the only reason why she did, because she knew she can get away with it. Remember, this is the same Susan Rice, not Lisa Rice, don't get her confused. She's a handkerchief head too. But Susan Rice set with, worked with Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama to go and bomb Libya. That's why that Libya is unstable. That's why a lot of people who look like you and I are being, was hunted down and murdered. Gaddafi didn't do a damn thing to America. She was a part of that group. You know, that shit when Benghazi went down. White folk across America was, yes, Susan Rice in the Benghazi. She didn't say shit. She was scared shitless. When black America was under attack during their bombing years, 
she didn't say anything. Valerie Jarrett, Susan Rice, and Barack Obama lecture black America. Don't believe me? Type it in. And, I'm, and a lot of y'all keep talking about Eric Cole. Eric Cole is probably the only one that's really down for the community. But he was surrounded by, by, by traitors. Notice Susan Rice came out and threatened Snoop. See, right now, if I, any other black man was to make a threat or look like we about to make a threat, an actual comment, we begin to ring at the doorbell. Well, you know, uh, you, what you said about Susan Rice, you know that could be perceived as a threat. You know, she's a, even though she's a, a, a former federal official, she still got protection. That's why she didn't hesitate. Then you got these other black women out here. Yeah, that's what Snoop said was, and other black men were misogynistic. You had this chick, uh, Tiffany Cross. I think she's gorgeous, man. But she'd be on Joy Reid in the morning, but she throw brothers on the bus this morning, her and Joy Reid. Yeah, well, LeBron, I'm disappointed in LeBron James and them, and I'm going to do a video about that. I got audio on that one. I'm disappointed. The misogyny, I said, Oprah did it again. Oprah knew exactly what the trigger. Oprah knew when she mentioned Cosby name, that there was going to be some dumb, dumb Negroes out. Yeah, Bill Cosby should be saying nothing. He talked about black people for years. No, he didn't. But y'all let that media tell you that. You let uh, 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 Dyson, Hughley, Williams, Burris, all these people say that. And I'm like, y'all don't know y'all history. Thank God I was in a family that my mother and father told me at a young age, don't believe everything you see or hear from that damn television. Did I make mistakes growing up believing certain things? Yeah, because we were conditioned. I remember when I was a little kid, they used to say, Farrakhan, hate everybody. Farrakhan don't believe in God, blah, blah, blah. Because nobody understood the nation of Islam or what was it, what their beliefs were because the white media. So one day, everybody's talking about Farrakhan, and I'm like, hmm. And then people, I heard people talk about Malcolm X. I'm like, huh? I'm like, wait, Malcolm X is praised, but Farrakhan is not. I'm like, wait a minute. Malcolm X is attacked. The same way Farrakhan. I was as a kid, I'm like, oh, wait, something ain't adding up. So I watched the TV. I'm just the Farrakhan. They asked Farrakhan questions. I said, he seemed like a love of mine, the gentleman. I was a little boy, and I picked up on that BS. The condescending tone. Why do you think they don't let Farrakhan on TV today? They'll say he's anti-Semitic, but they never let the man on TV no more. You know, there's a lot of black folk don't be on TV. You got them, but talking here, celebrity. There was a time they put the microphone dead in our face. What do you think, black Mr. Black Man? What do you think, Mrs. Black Woman? They don't even do that anymore. If they do, they go get a brother and sister, and they despond when a tragedy happens. Or when they know they can go get the idiot in the room, they go interview our kids who they know have not been taught proper or been exposed. What do you think about growing up? I can be anything I want to be. I want to be a fashion designer. I want to be a rapper. I want to play football. I want to sing and dance and do everything. And none of these Negroes that got positions, it wasn't for us supporting them, wouldn't be anywhere. Then you're going to turn around and berate somebody because out of and Everybody have a right to be mad at Gail King and Oprah. Gail, what Gail King did the other day was disrespectful. She, she figured white women ain't getting called out. Let me jump in and, and put, add, add to that. You're a black woman. You didn't have to go there. Then try to put it on CBS. Look, y'all, I do know some things about the media. If you're a low-level anchor reporter, you got bosses. They have production. They have staff meetings. Every week, they get together in a room. Okay, these are the stories we want to work on. Okay, you got the political beat, you got the the uh, the, the crime beat, you got the entertainment, dot, 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 dot. You on air this today, you on air tomorrow. This is what we need you to do. If you if some news break, you, you got to get that next gig. got to get the camera, got to be first. Now, if you're the face of the network or, the, or that station, you got say. You got editorial control. I know, I know that. See, y'all think that a lot of us don't know how the media work. I've read enough books, watching up behind the scenes, know people. I keep telling y'all, I was this close. To, I, I, I would have played my cards, right? I might have been in entertainment. That's a long story, but I know better. I know how it works. I know how to, when you go on audition, uh, auditions to uh, 
to for these movies, how they work, how they get you in the room. They, I know that the cattle call. Cattle call is a mass call for people to come in to be for parts. They ask you to stand in front of either three or four people or maybe one casting director. And those usually associate, they're not the main cast. See, I know all about this. So when I talk about these things, y'all be like, I ain't be on point. And I'm not the only one. A lot of us in the community know this stuff. See, so when you get your D.L. Hughes and your Roland Martins and your Lamont Hills, they think they know more of us. I'm like, no, y'all just blessed to get in position. Hell, I, I, I think I'm Johnny Badass. I bet you if you gave me a $5 million budget, I could direct a documentary that would, would, would inform and entertain at the same time, but they would have to kill me. Because I'm not going to do that thing, show clips out of, out of context. I'm not going to go get people that's going to play it safe. But I digress. I didn't mean to go on a tangent. Sorry about that. I'm just passionate about my people not being manipulated or being used to be a, 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 a proxy for white supremacy. Susan Rice came at Snoop. All of the insults that people have leveled against black people. Y'all, when, when Roseanne came under attack, but I mean, when Roseanne attacked Valerie Jarrett, what was Susan Rice then? When Ted Nugent threatened to shoot black folk from a helicopter, when they attacked Michelle Obama to this day, when John Rivers called Michelle Obama a tranny. Rush Limbaugh for years had been bad mouthing black folk. The other day at the State of the Union, Trump gave Rush Limbaugh a Medal of Freedom. What were all those black intellectuals at then? But when Snoop said some, oh shit, outrage. And then y'all knew what Snoop said. He didn't threaten her. Snoop was saying, we're coming after you, meaning that the black community is coming for you. Michael Rappaport basically called Gellin um, and, and Oprah carpet munchers. Oprah didn't mention them. Nobody in the media called him, se- him sexist or homophobic. You got gay black men and these black women mobilized. Y'all calling Gail and Oprah, y'all making death threats. How y'all know it's, if it's death threats? So you mean Thursday people started talking about it. Friday she got death threats that fast? Well, Gail wasn't at CBS this morning. I thought maybe they told her to take the day off. She thought she tried to hide. But come to find out, she was on assignment covering Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Remember, Gail... And Oprah friends with Meghan Martin. I'm like, two 60-something-year-old women, damn, they're seven years old, friends with a 38, 39-year-old black, uh, half-black chick that they didn't know about till Harry, Harry, Prince Harry stopped eating her, eating her out. Okay. Really? Susan Rice came out and made a threat. And black people across the board, she said, yo, where's that vitriol, that passion there all those years? Y'all was in the Obama said, they tell you about the Obama people. That's why I told y'all, stop romanticizing that Obama, the Obama years. Barack Obama and none of them people have anything to do with black America. They ran off, op, they ran, and I, I ran, got in it because of our optimism, our pain. And you turn around and get on TV, you make threats. See, Susan Rice, no, she's, she's a protected government official. Remember, Susan Rice is married to a white man. She got a son and daughter. Yes, they help by a lot of children. Her son leans politically to the right. He's a Trumper. Yes, go look it up. They was talking, she was getting an interview one day about maybe a month, maybe two months ago. Maybe a little bit more. Because time does fly. They was interviewing her, and I said, ain't this a blip? I didn't even know she's married to a white dude. But I said, now it makes sense. Then they said, her son, he's in college. He's, he leans to the right. I'm like, your mama leans to the left. I said, she, he's taking out his daddy. I love my son. We may not agree on everything, but he, I love him nonetheless. Snoop knew Kobe. They, people were hurting. Look, I wasn't a Kobe friend, but I said, yo, man, don't do this to what this guy's did. This man got a widow. This man got three surviving children. His eldest child, 17. What, what, did y'all ever think that maybe she didn't know that part about her father? Parents try to keep shit from their kids, and people say, well, this is a part of his leg. Yes, but y'all had from 2003 to the, to, uh, to the day before he died to bring this up, but you didn't. Well, at least they tried to. When he got his uh, uh, statue, you had white women. He don't need to be here. Disinvite him from Sundance. But y'all was cool with two white dudes in the line on Michael Jackson. 
Now, I, like, like, and I'm going to say this again. People say, why are you going in on rolling them real hard? I, we have gone in on, on black men like rolling. But y'all starting to see is a certain group of black women out here who are treacherous. Ask yourself why didn't Susan Rice have this fire for George Zimmerman? Or, or those out here talk, openly talking about killing, killing us or assassinating Obama. Remember, she participated right along with Hillary Clinton and them um, and, 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 and Obama and Obama and them going over there and destabilizing, destabilizing Libya and helping them kill Gaddafi. We know we want to talk about President Bush in Iraq and Afghanistan. We want to talk about Donald Trump and Russia, but we seem to want to gloss over what Obama and his administration didn't do. And let me say this again to those who are non-black or to those who are sick of fans for Obama. You, a lot of black Americans have issues with Obama. We held our nose and voted because we didn't want Palin near that White House. Because John McCain, even though he, he's running and he seemed level-headed, but I didn't trust that version of John McCain, to be honest. If you don't know his history, you'll understand. But at any moment, John McCain, something could have happened and Sarah Palin would have became president. Think about that. That's a scary-ass thought. So a lot of us, we held our breath. But the thing is, on the left and on the right was complaining. Oprah and them didn't get a story about that. Gail Key never called out that. They didn't never say, well, 50-something to 60 some percent voted for Donald Trump. To this day, nobody's done that story. The only way y'all going to hear if you're on the internet or hear us talk about it. Black women will be shot dead. Going kidnap. Where was where was Susan Rice at? We quick to call out Condoleezza Rice on, on her apathy. But what about Susan Rice? Remember, she's compromised too now. Gail King, you gonna have Gail as a principal woman. No, she wasn't. If a black man or a black woman would have did that to a white person, everybody like, yo, you low, ooh, ooh, you wrong. Boycott fire suspended. When it, people insult us, people's like, just wait a few days. Negroes going to move on. And then that's what they did. The media made sure, let's ship them off Abigail Disney and these other white women who started it up. They the one that started. You had that principal at that school who said Kobe deserted that. It was just reported she resigned. Remember when the white women was talking about Mrs. Obama being the ape and talking about her? What was, what was, what was Susan Rice said then? Didn't say a damn thing. Is a certain type of black. I'm telling y'all, this is why our community has been divided. These strong black women in positions have manipulated and caused a lot of this drama. Then you got Amy Schumer jump her fat ass and everything. But when Monique was saying about paying equality, she was silent. She didn't advocate enough. Remember, this is the same Amy Schumer with a guy with Leah Dunham basically talking about black men penises. Reduced us to being walking penises. Now she joined in the fray. They always got a butt into our conversations. They can't, they can't mind their own damn business if, 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 they, if they like depending on it. We don't butt into their conversations with their men. Ain't got nothing to do with us. We may have an opinion, but we don't go out there doing country and say, no, Amy Schumer is talking about how white men have called out her name. Black men wasn't talking about her. We didn't, we didn't care that she exists. We knew of her because they was shoving her down our damn throats. Oh, she's attractive. She's this. No, she wasn't. She was a pudgy white chick that was related to, to uh, Chuck Schumer, Democratic senator from New York. Oh, that's Chuck Schumer's cousin? Oh, my gosh. She had flop after flop. Then she somebody lucked up and married and got her pregnant. And then she goes on, on Oprah on this tour. She's talking to her. She's talking about her health issues. Fuck her. That's one reason why she came out to defend Gail. Because with Oprah, she kept my name out there. She she interviewed me. So let me go ahead and defend Oprah and her friend. Then you got this drugged out, uh, plastic surgery messed up. Rose McGowan, who was talking crap with Black with Tawana Burke. And let me go pull that image of, of her. Just remind y'all. Felt extremely comfortable talking about Black men because Tawana Burke gave it an okay. Look at
look how she looking now. She's like, oh my gosh, this nigga bitch is ugly. That's what she was thinking. That's what she's really thinking. And Tawana, Tawana Burke went out there and ate, ate, ate it up. She got on TV. I'm not worried about white. I'm talking about black men. No, you worried that dudes ain't giving you no dick or they got you knocked up. And she got a daughter, a grown daughter. Some dude must have been really high sticking him doing her. Yeah, I'm going there. Because she just, she just like Oprah, have given white women license to go out there and just throw us under the bus, attack us, or jump in our conversations. Rose McGowan is jumping in defending Yale. She's even called stupid rapist. Stoop, stoop apologized to the victim, the accuser. Y'all forget large parts of that story that she got caught up in a lie. Every woman that yells harassment or rape are not a victim. I know people go to use the Emmett Till reference because of the image, that visceral image of Emmett Till's mutilated body, but there were countless cases before Emmett, during Emmett, and after Emmett, and right up until this day. White women act as if they are the most put upon, like, we, we, we women first, women rights, and I'm like, yo, but y'all got better jobs and position than black men. A lot of us, a lot of brothers lost their lives because of a white woman like, he won't, he won't screw me. He needs to die. Y'all think I'm being flippant with it, but that's, that's how they get down. I know of dudes that dated some white women. Their lives are miserable. And they, and they run, and we got to think Oprah because Oprah will give us cover. Gail will give us cover. Remember, white women was right out there last year yelling right about R. Kelly. I'm like, don't y'all see what y'all just did? Well, Harvey, R. Kelly deserve it. Well, why y'all don't have that anger in five, 20 years ago? Y'all wait till a hit piece from Lifetime? Lifetime come out? And it wasn't just that sister that pushed it. She had two white people behind her. You have two white people pushing that Russell Simmons thing. You have various white networks and talk, talk shows pushing the Bill Cosby narrative. The 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 uh the uh, the, uh, the uh, now you got the one Cuba Gooden Jr. You got PBS going after Tabitha Smiley. You had a white woman Asian who thought that black woman was so gullible that this sister from WGN Television here in Chicago was going to join and go after Morgan Freeman. And I and I can't stand Morgan Freeman until he come across as arrogant. They even went after Todd Bridges. You know something was up then. Look what they look how um. Uh, old girl from Good Morning, Laura Spencer was in um, uh, Gloria, uh, Lisa Bloom was disrespecting Gary Coleman. Knew the man was sick, and then Nisi Nash came in and was chastising Gary Coleman. And surely after that, Gary Coleman died under mysterious circumstances. And when people suggested they think his wife did some, uh, uh, Deborah Norville, over Inside Edition, who used to work in the Chicago media market over NB at NBC. Quickly came to the defense. She didn't do it. She just does it the dot. But a black man get accused. He did it. <coughs> so so I go back to this whole thing. Bring me back to Oprah Winfrey and them. Oprah opens the floodgates and everybody comes running. Well, I knew Friday morning when Oprah said misogyny and Bill Cosby, I knew that the whole tone was going to change. I've seen videos of gay black men, these media talking heads, and, and some black women. You guys shouldn't call uh, Gail a bitch, but y'all calling black men niggas. Y'all shouldn't disrespect her. She's a queen. Every sister ain't a queen. Every every brother ain't a king. Stop with that all of us kings and queens shit. Everybody could be no king or queen. That defies logic. Oh, that's just a, a figure of speech. Yeah, okay, whatever. Every week, we hear stories of teachers uh, or people in positions of authority messing with our children. No outrage. Y'all claim that y'all hate, hate that. I'm like, why is it that when we talk about Elvis or these other cats that's still alive? Well, you deflecting. No, 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 no. Y'all talking about Art Kelly messing with, with children. He, he wasn't messing with children. But you had a 50-year-old actor 
marry a 16 year old girl and the entertainment shows like they were celebrating. I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on. Then they say, well, this state is legal. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. In Illinois, is a certain, I mean, in, I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on. But see, I forgot. Rules don't apply to us. Everybody is one sided. Everybody gets on, on the same platform, get on the same page when it comes down to attacking the black community, especially black men. And some of you sisters don't realize that they keep going after straight black men or males, young and old. You're going to turn around, you're going to have nothing but Billy Porter. Why do you think they're pushing Billy Porter? Before I did this commentary, I flipped the channels. They do the Oscar show. Billy Porter is in a damn dress. You don't see white men out there pushing shit like that. White community ain't going to let that become the face. We had damn Rorschach test in our community. If you don't know what Rorschach test means, go look it up. Because I ain't, gonna, ain't got time to explain everything to everybody. We as black folk don't understand. A lot of us don't understand. We've been manipulated into talking points. Bill Cosby did not lecture black America. Bill Cosby did not sell out black America. But the media, everybody got on the same page. And Oprah and Gail and them could have easily said, wait a minute. You know, Mr. Cosby is accused of this. He's just accused. We don't want to get in the, we don't get out there saying these things and talking absolutes. Let us stop, Gail. Gail and them over CBS, Bad Mouth, Cosby, tell them every chance they got. NBC, ABC, CNN, MSNBC. You had people that normally cover politics weighing into it. You had that chick the other day who was a political writer, uh, Felicia Summers or Summer, whatever her name is, last name is. She's a political writer. She attacked Kobe. And black folk did come out and call out the petitions and white media ignored it. So they said, let's get them off, off us. And we saw Gail, like, come on, you a black woman. You got a son. How you gonna go out there? They're gonna lie and talk, get it, tell us like we stupid. Like even though, well, that's just part of the interview. But that's still a part of the interview. You can have to ask that question, and you got people like, well, Gail's a reporter. Brother, like, well, she's a reporter. We got to ask questions. No, you don't. You don't have to go there. And a lot of times, people ask you not to ask those questions because it's more, it's private, it's embarrassing, or it's a little bit more nuanced than that. Right now, if, if, if you had an opportunity to interview Caroline Kennedy, Caroline Kennedy's the daughter of John F. Kennedy and Jackie Kennedy Onassis, right? And her brother John, was John Jr., right? And you had to say, Mrs. Uh, Kennedy, uh, whatever her last name is, she's married. When you hear people talk about your father's extramarital affair, People gonna say that's out of bounds. Her father's assassinated. Her father been dead over fifty some years. Watch, they would do the, they would they would stop her. What they gotta do with the now? But y'all say it's a part of the person's character, it's part of the history. Or what if they say, uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Kennedy, your grandfather Joe Kennedy was a Nazi sympathizer and a bootlegger. Your father worked with the mob, but Frank Sinatra and them to steal votes because of Chicago, out of Chicago. They don't ask it up. They wouldn't dare ask those, those questions, those intrusive questions. But they'll go disrespect the family of Dr. King. You don't see nobody running defend defend Bernice King, you know, uh, uh, honor. Her parents, mother died of cancer, father sat How dare you? But y'all go defend, defend the, the Kennedys. Other day, Kirk Douglas died at 103. He lived a long ass time. You see how I many he get to saw how many changes? The man lived well into the 21st century. But he was accused of doing some treacherous things back in the day. They didn't bring it up. Oh, you know why they didn't bring it up? You know he's Jewish or was Jewish, right? Since he's dead, it's in the afterlife night. They ain't gonna bring him up. They ain't never gonna do that. But they'll bring a black man past. Lies or not, they would bring it up and they would and they would and they would they would, they would die on it. We got the right to talk about Kobe. But white women kicked this whole conversation off the day Kobe died. And they knuckled down on it. And Gail thought she was going to slide in, go right along with her. And black folks said, oh, whoa, 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 wait a fuck a minute. And then Oprah get on TV. She's not doing well. She's getting death threats. Really? 
They're gonna threaten. They're gonna threaten Gail, but they didn't threaten you and Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson is more beloved over the globe, even ten years after his death. So maybe, 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 maybe this was a little bit more too fresh for him. Maybe it's kicking him a little bit different. There's a possibility that she could be getting some rude comments, but I don't know. I want to see receipts because everybody keeps saying death threats, death threats. Okay, that's what you call the police. But when she mentioned Bill Cosby's name and Miss Massage, uh oh, she something gonna change, and it's changed this weekend. Now you got Rose McGowan, and Amy Schumer, and, and some other white women jumping into the conversation. Because you know what they're gonna do? They deflecting off what those other white women said. But see, that comes that's up to us out here in uh, social media, black media, to call us out. So I'm calling for my brothers and sisters. Not to let these white women and them get away with that. Not to let them get away with trying to manipulate, um, trying to manipulate this conversation. Okay. Because right now they button their nose into conversation because Oprah is giving the okay. Rose McGowan was was career was in a downward spiral. She got arrested for drugs. Remember when it was on the plane and all of a sudden that's when she started talking about sexual harassment. They they changed the, the tone. See, this is, I want to get on TV so bad. I want to go on these primetime shows and let these bastards have it just once. Just once. I want to say, try that with somebody else. Then I want to call these handkerchief head Negroes out here. I want to call them out because I'm telling you right now, we got to. But see, what we did or what we allowed them to do is come between us and manipulate us. And they're and they doing it now. So your Susan Smiths. The Tiffany Crosses, your Joy Reeds, and the rest of y'all out here talking about, oh, you shouldn't be saying this to Gail, this and Oprah. Shut up. They wouldn't piss on you if you was on fire. I told y'all, 2017, they're going to flip all this back on black men, and they're going to try to do everything in power to keep it on black men. So, I, so, I, so I'm going to say this to my sisters. Y'all need to call y'all sisters out. Because there's going to come a time where y'all going to look around. Y'all going to want brothers like myself to be there protect you and defend you. And we ain't going to be around because we're going to say we did what we could. Enough is enough. No other group of women do this to their men. Do not let Oprah and Gail and them get y'all off, off message. And the thing is, Oprah got spooked as she saw a lot of black women on social media. Notice she never said people. She said men. So all these black women that's on, on, this, on, on social media, you ignored all that. So that tells you Oprah got an agenda. That should tell you right there that she's so anti-black man, it, 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 it is painful. So to those of you that used to tell me I was in the wrong for calling out Oprah. <laughs> Everything she has done has proven me right. And I say it again, y'all owe Monique an apology. Even Ray Dong Chong, I got to go do some research on something that she supposedly said about Bill Cosby. I didn't hear it. Because like I said, I don't get to hear and see everything. But if she said that about Cosby, I'm going to go in her ass too. But she caught out Oprah years ago. There are a lot of people who can't stand Oprah Winfrey. Everybody think that we love Oprah Winfrey and Barack Obama and your Quincy Jones and them. There's a lot of black folk out here that we in the community know are treacherous. If y'all was to Paul Mooney in black Chicago, y'all would have known who Oprah truly was. Or is, I should say. 